Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Yes, I'm back from holidays. It's the 15th of September. It is time for Rock 2022 AU, our second album of the month. Now, holiday videos, yarn shopping. I haven't worked out the format, but no doubt there will be lots of videos to come. Now, this photo of the end of this video of the yarn and yarn supplies I bought while I was away. Um, some of it had to be mailed home because I was going to well and truly exceed my baggage limit on the flight. And I was given gifts. So, I've just got to work out how I will unbox it all in different videos rather than hit you with an hour long video. Rock 2022 AU. Well, part of our holiday did have music feature quite a bit. Um, our second night in Melbourne, when we were going for a bit of a wander, we came across a busker who is very talented. Now, I did do video, but um, Reeves has warned me I better not put the video up because I could infringe copyright, but I have got a photo of him, so I'll put that at the end. Um, he was playing ACDC, which is one of Thing's favourite bands. And yeah, we stood around listening for quite some time because he was very good. I guess the thing about Melbourne that we don't get up here very often is very talented buskers. And this particular spot he's in, I think it is a prime position that they are allocated. Because later in our trip, we saw a very old Asian gentleman playing the violin who is very talented too. And around our walking trips around Melbourne, there was lots of buskers. Um, here, our community market, we get one or two buskers, generally um, young adults or young teenagers, because here they're encouraged to busk because it builds their confidence playing in front of an audience and earning a bit of money for their talent. It also gives them lots of practice. But yeah, I really enjoyed seeing the buskers and Reeves emailed me about a record shop. He has a very, um, I don't know what you'd call it, strange taste in music and some of the albums he wants are very difficult to get. And he'd been checking out this music at this record shop and said it's about eight minutes away from the hotel by car and we actually walked it. It was 36 minutes by foot walking it but it was a really lovely day to walk it and yes he gave me a list of 10 and the guy had two of them the first one he brought out is very rare and it's quite expensive to be perfectly honest it was very reasonable our local vinyl record shop guys a bit more expensive than that so music featured a lot we um, seem to always be coming across music in our trip so the first album was strings because I do like violins, cellos. I like that sort of music. It's really lovely to listen to and relax to. A lot of interesting comments regarding that type of music. Some liked it, some can't. Didn't the album cover has created quite some um, colorful projects, but we haven't had very many pictures posted so far. So hopefully our second album will inspire your project and we'll get more pictures posted. So one of the things was on a very cold and wet day, there was a movie on a free to air channel at our hotel that we laid around watching at Philadelphia. Now I've seen it before with Tom Hanks, but things never seen it. And we were watching that and I've always liked the movie soundtrack from Philadelphia. I always thought it was very good. And a lot of movie soundtracks I do like. And the, uh, we've been back about four days and Thing said it was his turn to pick. And in regard to movie soundtracks, he thought we should do a movie soundtrack. I wanted to do um, classical music because this month we were exploring different music. Anyway, he's picked the album from our collection. Now, it's a really good soundtrack, but I was never impressed with the movie. So here goes, he told me to take it out of the plastic sleeve. It is, da 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 Clockwork Orange. There you go, Clockwork Orange. I've done a bit of research um, and I'll read it to you. 
I'll show you the album again and we'll go through what can inspire you. So, the soundtrack from a controversial movie, Clockwork Orange. It was very controversial and I am not a fan of the movie. And if you do plan to check out the movie, be warned. It is quite graphic and violent if you get the uncensored version. A Clockwork Orange is a 1971 dystopian crime film adapted, produced and directed by the famous Stanley Kubrick, based on Anthony Burgess' 1962 novel of the same name. It employs disturbing, violent images to comment on psychiatry, psychiatry juvenile delinquency, youth gangs and other social, political and economic subjects in a dystopian near future of Britain. The film premiered in New York on 19th of December 1971 and was released in the United Kingdom on the 13th of January 72. The film met with polarised reviews from critics and was controversial due to its um, depiction of graphic violence. I warned you, if you watch this movie and it's the uncensored version, wow. It was banned in several other countries. Um, they didn't want it at all in its time. It received several award nominations, including four nominations on the 44th Academy Awards list. In 2020, the significance of the film was recognized when it was selected to be a preservation in the United States National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. So some of the issues is like morality. The film's central moral question is the definition of goodness and whether it makes sense to use aversion therapy, therapy to stop immoral behavior. I'm not going to comment on any of this, just read it out to you. Society, the society depicted in the film was perceived to be some of, be the same as communism um, due to its slight ties with Russian culture. The music. Now the music is what we're interested in and is what I do like about a Clockwork Orange album. The main theme is an electronic arrangement of Henry Purcell's music for the funeral of Queen Mary and also heard are two of Edward Edgar's Pomp and Circumstance Marches. It is classical music with an electronic overtone. The main character is obsessed with uh, Ludwig van, um, van Beethoven in general and he is not and he's obsessed with Beethoven's Ninth Symphony in particular. However, despite this obsession, the soundtrack contains more music for, by Rossini than by Be Beethoven. You will recognise the William Tell Overture and the Thieving Magpie Overture that feature on this album. Now, there will be a music playlist as per normal in the description below. Um, I hope you check it out and listen to the music. Entirely up to you if you haven't seen the movie, whether you want it. But I am warning you, it is a violent movie. To inspire your project, of course, the album cover. My favourite colour, orange. There is some yellow around the triangle and some blue there. He wears like a bowler top hat and there's a dagger. So those things could inspire a project. It's going to fall out. On the back, a few more pictures giving you some colours to be inspired by. You could be inspired by the title, a clock or orange, and the music, the thieving magpie, which is black and white. And we have magpies here. And coincidentally, a football club is playing in the finals this weekend called Collingwood. And I always say the most hated football club by any other fan but a Collingwood fan. Anyway, I also have a picture of a thieving magpie from my um, trip away. He thought he was a seagull and he kept trying to pinch my chippies. And when I wouldn't give him a chippy, he pooped on the table. And I did post it 
on one of my social media platforms saying, typical Collingwood supporter. And I got a few laughs from friends who know what I mean. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the classical music with electronic overturns from A Clockwork Orange. And you do post your pictures to the Facebook group or send them to me and give me permission to post them. I'd really like to get the numbers back up there. Um, we're sitting around 16 people still participating and hopefully some people jump back on board and join in. As for future videos, well, when you see what I bought, you'll be like, she'll be unboxing for many months. Hopefully not, because I'm some of it is gifts and I don't want to share it because the people I want to gift it to actually are subscribers and watch the channel. And yeah, I've got to plan it out so it is least entertaining for you guys. My holiday adventure really was a yarn adventure and Thing did find a lot of things that he wanted to do. Look, I was really quite down when, before I left. I was so tired of here and looking for every little thing that was wrong and I must admit the first day driving back to work I was still tired but the second day I am um, reinvigorated. It is ideal to get away if you can even for a little while because all the lockdowns and everything definitely took a toll on my mental health and I am a hundred percent better for going away on a holiday until next video don't forget clockwork orange is our second album for rock 2022 au i will be back for a video because remember we're doing secondhand september and no one has posted a picture yet so maybe i need to do a video and explain that and show you what i've been up to for secondhand september Good luck, stay well, have some fun and be inspired. Bye for now.